everybody. Uh, Jill Ortiz here from Jill Ortiz Fitness. Today I have one of my clients, Jen, and we were just talking about how today is her exact three month anniversary from joining the Empowered Fitness Mastery Program. And she is done. She has done amazing in that time. There's nothing that brings me more joy than scheduling a call and hopping on with her. And we're so crazy with our schedules that sometimes we have to like reschedule eight times to make it happen, but we totally get each other. And I'm so glad that we have Jen on today. She's going to just introduce herself and then I'm, I'm going to interview her today about her time in the program and what her thoughts are as to the next three months, because she's committed in terms of going forward and continuing to um, just rock this program. So welcome, Jen. It's amazing to have you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you. I'm Jennifer Walmsley, and I, um, like Jill said, started about three months ago, uh, exactly three months ago, and I have really felt great working through the different nutrition programs, and it's just been, it's it's been a great uplifting experience for me. I'm a mom, a teacher, I've taught 30 years, and so I feel like I should have the teaching down pat, but sometimes, you know, throws a curveball every once in a while, but um, got three kids of my own who are busy on different schedules, and so, you know, life just kind of is busy, but um, this has been a great journey these last three months through this program. And tell us where you live. We live in Texas. We live in close to Houston, right outside of Houston. So awesome. it's nice and muggy right now and yeah, cool. typical and Texas weather. And so today everybody is St. Patrick's Day. And so we actually started our journey right before Christmas on December 17th. And Jen, just tell me like, what did you think coming into the program right before Christmas? I'm going to start there. Well, I, I remember having a few fears and hesitations about jumping into it. My first thought was, should I wait and just start on the first? But then I, you know, I, I didn't want to then add five or 10 more pounds to have to lose on January 1st. So when we met and we talked through things, Jill was great about just giving me some suggestions on all the food and all of the activities that go along with Christmas. You know, at school, we were having multiple um, staff parties and um, happy hours and family parties. And so that was one of my biggest hesitations or worries going into it was just all the food and drink that's that surround the holidays. Mm -hmm. And but we know that basically the entire year is full of holidays. So anybody uh -huh. saying to themselves, I don't want to start until after my vacation, after this holiday, after this season of life, things are busy. It's never a good excuse, right? It always means uh, that's why you need this now, right? Well, it, and it's it's one of those things where, like, like you're saying, there's always a time to go out to eat with friends. There's always a time to get together and have have social time. And I, I think that this program is so sustainable because there's so many different options along the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. So let's talk about what your goals were coming into the program and maybe what you were struggling with. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, my biggest goal was starting to work out. I, um, I had kind of gotten into a rut of feeling like I was just so busy as a mom, um, running my kids around after school, like get up early, get to school, come home, run kids around, cook dinner. And so I think my biggest goal was to try to lose a little bit of weight, but more so just get myself more in shape. So I'd feel like I had more energy and I could feel just a little bit better about just how clothes fit and um, just how I, just my energy level during the day. And so if we had to pick something that was holding you back or some things, would you say that it was time, not knowing what to do or something else? All the above. <laughs> um, time, time was one thing. Um, 
because I felt like I had tried some other things before, like going to the gym and working out. I wasn't really sure what to do at the gym. And I also didn't feel like I found time for it. It was one of those things I, I, I intended to do after school, put my gym bag in the car and got to school the next day and the gym bag was still in the back seat. So I, it, it just, it just wasn't, wasn't working for me. Um, and so what, what was the breaking point? Was there something that made you say like, all right, now I have to do something and, and this program seems to be the right fit. What do you think brought you to me? Well, I think that I, I think that I was beginning to feel more and more like out of shape, just, I don't want to say old cause I'm not old, but I, I just felt kind of like just, I didn't want to go and do a lot. I didn't, I felt like when I came home from school, I just wanted to crash into the couch. And so I just didn't feel like there was enough oomph to me. And so, um, I, I wanted something that I felt like I could do and sustain for a period of time as opposed to a month or two. And so many of Jill's options are, um, so, so doable and, and work well with my schedule. And I just showed up one day in your Facebook feed, I assume. And yes, yes. You were like, I oh my God, this is my girl. Yes. She's my girl. <laughs> She's my workout girl. <laughs> That's great. Um, I always, I truly believe that the right people end up in my world. And then, and I get this a lot, like on our first call, they'll be like, uh, you're going to be my coach, but you're also going to be, you're also going to be my friend. Like I can tell that because there's just a connection that I have with the people who end up on a, a call with me. Um, and most of the time they've gotten that far in the process because they're ready and they're not willing to stay the same anymore. It's really not a good mm -hmm. feeling when you know, you don't like where you're at and you know that if you don't do anything that in three months, you could be still where you're at. But I mm -hmm. like to help people see that if you just show up and do the stuff that I'm going to teach you, that you are going to be so much closer to your goals and you don't even have to have fear that you're not going to make it because I'm not going to let you fail. And we're always going to be progressing forward and we're never going backwards. Um, so you talked about the fear of being the right time with the holidays. Was there anything else that you were kind of like, ah, I don't know if I want to do this. Let me think about it. Or was it kind of just, yeah. Let's do this. It's right. Well, once I make my mind up to something, I tend to kind of jump with both feet. But I also felt like, are these workouts going to be something that I can honestly do? Like, I, I it's it's sometimes intimidating to me when um, people who are workout gurus and have done fitness for years and years and years um, plan these workouts because. With me not really working out on a consistent basis, that was one of my fears was just, are these going to be, am I going to literally pass out in the middle of my living room or am I going to really be able to do these? And so um, starting off with just really small 15 minute workouts and then increasing them to 30 or 20, it's, it's very, very doable and I enjoy it. Yeah. And so, and so that's what I do. Most of my clients will start out in their first week, which is three 15 minute workouts. If it doesn't happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then they push them to whenever they can do them and um, tell them what time you're working out in the mornings. I set my alarm for four 30. And so I get up at four 45 and I work out till five 15 and then I jump in the shower. And that, that was one of my other things is that you know, I, I always have not wanted to drive somewhere and have to, you know, spend 10 or 15 minutes getting to the gym, then 30 minutes working out and 10 or 15 minutes getting home. It just puts my morning really, really early. And so being able to work out in my, in my pajamas in the living room is the best deal for me. Yeah. And I've been watching you um, through our app that you use to, to complete your workouts and I have checked in every single week and you have not gotten behind. You have been so incredibly consistent for three months straight. How does that make you feel? And have you had days where you just didn't want to show up? Um, 
<clears throat> I honestly feel like getting up and doing it first thing in the morning makes such a big difference for me. I'm half asleep. I turn it on. I just get started. It's dark. There's nobody up in my house. Um, the dogs are still asleep. You know, it, it, it gets me going this week with spring break and everybody being home and sleeping in a little bit later. I've noticed that it's like I have to kind of just fit it in when I can. And I don't like it as much. Um, I don't like that schedule as much. I pre really prefer getting up and doing it first thing in the morning. And I think that's what's helped me be really consistent about it. Mm -hmm. um, and so how have you felt about the actual workouts that we've been doing? How They've been great. Feel? They've been great. I, I, the first week I even noticed that um, I went to school and I felt like, wow, I, I feel like I have a lot more energy. Um, I didn't feel like I was dragging as much in the morning and needing my second cup of coffee when I got to school. Um, but I, I also feel like it's one of those things where, um, if, if you, if you continue to commit to doing that, it's, it, it just makes you feel overall good about yourself too. So it, it, it's, it's a definite increase in energy, but it's also just a feel good for yourself kind of feeling. So how would you say your mindset has changed now? I know a lot of women who at this point, three months in, they are upset when somebody says, Oh, we don't, we don't have time for you to do your workout today. We got to go to this thing. And they're like, uh, no. No, I, I got to fit it in. Right. You're it's a non-negotiable now that you want to show up. And right. that's the goal is to get my clients to a place where they would rather be doing the workouts and showing up and being super excited about it than miss anything. And they hate missing, you know, uh -huh. and it really they can tell the difference. And I do have a lot of school teachers who are in my program and um, an elementary school principal we're all kind of going through the same with regards to the schedule and with regards to dealing with teacher, other teachers, parents, children, and just the drain that all these people can be. And they're finding that they're waking up. They have so much more energy at work and it's just been a game changer. So tell us a little bit about the results that you've seen in the last three months. Um, well, I've lost about eight or nine pounds, which for me, the weight wasn't the most important thing, but Hey, I'll take it. I was, I'm trying, was trying to lose about 10 pounds. And so that has made me feel a lot better, but I've lost a lot of inches. I've lost probably four inches around my waist wow. and, um, three inches on my hips. And so I think my body's just building strength, mm -hmm. um, I feel so much better doing the exercises. I used to just die on the push-ups. I mean, I I would I would push myself down, and I I wasn't sure Jill was on Jill was on the the tenth push-up, and I was still trying to get up for my second one. But um, I can I can keep up. I I feel stronger. I it that that's why it's a non-negotiable for me. I look forward to it. They're short, and they make me. They're just kind of a way to kick off my morning. So I feel like, um, you know, on the cardio activities, I, I get a little bit, mm, um, <clears throat> cardio is really not my thing, but there's not much cardio in there. And it's just a little bit here and there. And I feel like now I can do the cardio. So my whole mindset has shifted a little bit toward working out. Is there a move that you are most proud of it sounds like maybe the push-ups but is that the one you would say you're most proud of yourself for the, the burpees, burpees the burpees were hard I can and I do them all all um the plank holds were hard mm -hmm. uh the push-ups were hard but you know even if I just did two or three the first time in in the time in the time frame that that the workout did 10 I felt like I was doing something and now I feel like I can do all 10 easily. So I feel like that's a big win. The exciting thing for me is that you've really only gotten through half of my programming. I've created so many programs over the years and there's so much left for you to do and the best is yet to come. And so that makes me very excited because I know how excited you get when you start a new program. And so knowing that I have so much more left for you in the fitness realm, 
it's it's just incredibly exciting for me to see where you're going to go with it and to know that you're not going to ever get bored. And then once you've completed all, you're going to be going back to some of the programs that you started with and seeing the incredible the gains that you've made. And since we're always tracking our progress, you can go back and see those awesome changes. So I want to make a little shift right now over to the nutrition side, because a lot of people, you know, for a lot of people, the fitness is not quite as hard as the nutrition is. And one of the biggest things that I say a lot in my program is that if it's not an enjoyable and sustainable journey, then even, even if you're able to get to your goal and have lost 10 pounds, you're going to rebound right back and gain all that weight back and go back to your old habits if you haven't found it to be an enjoyable and sustainable way of living. And so that's why it's really important that we make the nutrition just as interesting, exciting, and uh, effective as the workout. So tell us your take on nutrition, what you were doing before, how that's changed, and what you're thinking about, you know, what you've learned so far. Um, I've, I, I've always been a fairly healthy eater. Um, I wouldn't always make the best choices, but I've always been one that has wanted to eat healthy. Um, being a busy mom, there were often times when we drive through a burger place or we drive through chicken and I'd grab chicken nuggets or you know, whatever was quick to grab. Um, I feel like we started off with just a mindful nutrition mind, a mindset of just, you know, making healthy choices, trying to find healthy snacks, trying to add more protein. And for me, the biggest um, game changer was just making sure that I was laying out my week and planning my week ahead of time. And just prepping those things that I could just pick up and take to school. And I found that even now when I go out to eat, I can make those choices just based on what I remember from that beginning first month of trying to lay out a plan to, to eat more healthy. Um, I've tried to change a little bit more of my portion now, and I feel like that's made a big difference too. I think starting off with the mindful mindset and then moving into the portion helped me take what I knew from there and just make it, move it into different areas of my day. Yeah. So I think that that's made a big difference. And so you see this as a lifestyle, it sounds like, not that you're on a diet, right? Because nobody wants to feel like they're on a diet. No, I, I feel like when there are um, snacks in the workroom, you know, I might go and get some carrots and dip, or I might go and get a couple of crackers if I want them. I don't limit myself in that way. I, I try to just make smart choices. If I, if I, if I add a snack during the day like that, then I'll make sure I take it out in the evening. Okay. Uh, so what would you say has been your favorite part of the program? For those who don't know, Empowered Fitness Mastery works on three platforms. We have uh, individual Zoom calls. So we get to know each other and we work with each other individually so that everything's customized, that I'm hearing my clients and giving them what they need, making changes on the fly. We work in a uh, trainer program where all of the workouts are scheduled. And then we also have a Facebook community for support, accountability, and resources. What would you say is your favorite part of the program? Um, that's a hard question because I really, really like the trainer, the trainer program where you set out the workouts mm -hmm. um, because that was something that I had trouble doing was really knowing what to do. But I think the calls, the face-to-face -face calls have made such a difference because, um, you know, a lot of times we just chat as friends, but um, you giving so many different options to me or, Hey, you know, this is life. Life happens sometimes and get right back on track. Or these are some little changes you can make really keep, 
keep me going and make it more livable. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So is there anything else um, that you feel you need to add or that we didn't cover thoughts on the future and going forward? Um, I'm, I'm, in, I'm ready to just look ahead at what's coming and excited about what, what else I can do to tweak things and change things. And I'm ready. And what would you say to somebody who's contemplating the program, maybe having some fears or reservations about hopping in? Oh, I'd say go for it. You, you can do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jen, for hopping on with us today. I am super, super proud of you. I think that you should be proud of yourself, your family, your students, everybody should be so proud of your work. And I think, and I'm sure that not only are you recognizing the amazing changes that you've made, but I'm sure all the people in your life are somehow seeing and feeling that change too, because it, it truly is a, a ripple effect. And when you can get in control and feel so much better about yourself, your work, your energy, your relationships with others, it just really makes a difference. And uh, I hope that you felt that and that you continue to feel that and feel that um, upward movement at leveling up. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We'll talk to you soon.